It is all too common to see female athletes live double lives as they have to create viable living wages while playing pro sports in the U.S. Although there are opportunities overseas to create a more stable income, many of these women grow tired of the constant traveling. Keelan Winters, a former National Women's Soccer League player for the Seattle Reign, knows this issue very well as she hangs up her cleats and starts her new chapter as a firefighter. I feel more excited about what's next for me being firefighting than I feel sad about leaving soccer. In the NWSL, you have a five or six month off season which means that you either need to go play overseas or you need to try and find a way to support yourself with another job and still find time to train. This struggle comes with a cost, as Winters notes playing overseas affected her mental and physical health. I was coming out of Germany where I had played for six months. I was severely overtrained and coming off of that experience I was in the biggest slump of my life. And so my girlfriend at the time, now my wife and her family live in Seattle. And so for me, I really needed to be in Seattle. Winters is one of the lucky few women who had the opportunity to play professionally. According to the NCAA, less than 2% of all female athletes who play college sports go on to play at the pro level. Taylor Schronk, a former Temple University field hockey player, knew that with limited opportunities to play after college, that coaching was the next best thing. Once you graduate college, your step is to either A, try out for the national team, or B, you know, sign up for pickup league. I'm fortunate enough that with coaching, I still have a hockey stick in my hand. Lisa Byington, a former Northwestern University basketball player and now sports broadcaster, attributes the lack of funding and promoting women's sports in the mainstream media for the struggles facing female athletes. Networks have to have a guarantee of a couple of things. They have to have a guarantee of eyeballs. Um, it's very important what kind of viewership they get, and it's got to be a guarantee of ad money. And so the eyeballs won't be there at first, but maybe the ad money can be. Elise LeHue, former general manager of the NWSL Chicago Red Stars, understands this element as she explains the financial issues with running a club on a low budget. You're always weighing the either or. Are we going to spend $30,000 on advertising, or do we want to use that money to actually bring in another staffer? Because you're working on a limited budget that you need to stretch really Far. Although sports is not the plan for any athlete their entire life, female athletes know before going into professional sports that they will most likely have to have two jobs. The question of how fair that is is for the public to decide. However, there is no denying that female athletes struggle to make ends meet. For WJRN, I'm Steph Hirsch.